We love her so much. And I love her. We appreciate her. She's the heart of concrete for real. Yeah, the glue. The cable, the glue. Cable, the glue. Cable, 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 cable. Thanks. Well, well, well. Caribou. Listen, man. I don't even know where to begin here because for those of you who don't remember or even know, I hosted a show back in February, right? I had booked Caribou for a show back in November. That's when I got her booked, right? Long story short, I said in the vlog that I made for the for that show, her manager was like, yo, or at least at the time, was like, yo, it can't be this amount because by the time February comes around, she's gonna, you know, she's gonna be bigger, she's gonna be more popping. She she got a song with Baby Tron coming out. She got a song with Yachty coming out. And I'm telling you, at the time, Caribou had maybe, I don't know, three, four songs max. They wanted like 10 G's, bro. I'm gonna keep it real with you. They got it. They got it out of me and uh, I regret it to this day, but it is what it is. It is what it is. You know, you can't live like that. You can't live off regrets and shit. I'm, I'm glad it happened. I hosted her first New York show. I say all that to say, yeah, I was like, I bet by February, maybe it is worth 10 G's. Maybe it is. Maybe it'll sell that shit out. All the girls gonna pop out. Even the dudes that fuck with her or whatever. I did not end up selling that shit out. They wanted me, they didn't want me to put her like co-headlining or at least like big name or some shit. I don't know. They wanted me to put special guest on the flyer. Whatever, right? I'm like, okay. She only has like four songs anyway, so I don't mind putting special guests on the flyer. It's not a problem. Whatever. Had to pay for her fucking flight, hotel, all that shit. It was, it was a nightmare. But I'm thinking, all right, by February, maybe she will be popping. Maybe she will be the biggest female rapper or whatever. Because she had a lot of buzz. Caribou definitely had a lot of buzz. But, bro, they haven't done shit. Like, other than, obviously, the Concrete Tape and R.I.P. Follies. Like, that song is fire. And a couple other tracks on the tape. Anisia overlapped her low-key. Like, she had her own headlining show at SOBs. She had her own set at Rolling Loud. Like, I'm like, yo, I, I said this in a couple videos or on my podcast, I don't remember, that they really fumbling the ball with Caribou. Like, I've been saying that for the past few months. Like, yo, what are they doing with Shorty? Like, I don't understand. Like, you have to strike when the flame is hot. Bro, I'm telling you, she was the hottest female rapper. And, like, they didn't really keep their foot on the gas. I guess they were just trying to focus on the whole team as a collective i really don't know honestly um and that that show was in february and then i don't think they dropped the concrete tape until april in this industry two months is like a long time it's like an eternity if you don't drop shit it's like you really gotta be like this you feel me fans speculate caribou has reportedly left lil yachty's concrete boys i'm reading one article of many and uh yeah, I I had to like sleep on this to really give my take on this because like at first I kind of figured it was like a marketing ploy, like promo. This is just advertising, honestly. Come on, bro. Ain't no way. Like a lot of people like to speculate on the internet and shit and be a detective and like, oh shit, yo, they not fucking with each other. Cause I went to the concrete show, what was that? Last month at SOBs. And it was fire. Caribou was there, Lil Yachty was there, it was a dope show. And when I tell you, if you watch that vlog, how poppin' she is. Like, she could just say, hey, I'm Caribou. The whole crowd goes crazy. People love when she's doing her part of the show. Like, you can feel she's the most poppin' one besides Yachty. You can clearly see that. And I think she knows that. I think she knows that and she's probably getting upset or tight that they're not really prioritizing her like yo i i'm literally a diamond out here and y'all not put him like it makes no sense whatever so apparently she's been like no showing a bunch of shows they had a thing called the broccoli festival yeah i guess it's their own shit broccoli city festival minus caribou i don't know how they could even perform knowing that she ain't there it's kind of awkward when you go on concrete boys instagram caribou's name is not tagged there uh, how do I feel about her even being associated with that shit? It's like, she has to be grateful, you know? Like, without 
Yachty, there will be no caribou. You feel me? I'm sure she knows that. And I think she fit. She was the like Draymond Green to the to the squad. Like I don't even know how to explain it, but like they needed her. Concrete needs caribou, in my opinion. Um, Cause everybody else is cool. They're decent, but caribou gives that flair. You know, she gives that that swag. Like all the shorties love her too. So that's like always a plus. She has a unique style. You feel me? She unfollowed everybody, right? Pretty odd. Uh, I'm not sure if they unfollowed her. I haven't, I don't care that much. They know I, I didn't do my research on that. But yesterday she went on a spree on her story of a bunch of people that tagged her. Yo, where the fuck is Caribou? Where's Caribou? And she just kept reposting it, reposting it. And I'm over here like, man, this is marketing, bro. This is marketing. There's no way. Where's Caribou? Where's Caribou? Even Yachty tweeted saying, Y'all be letting this internet guide y'all. In real life, shit is different, I'm telling you. So then explain it then. Like, don't just say real, like, explain what's up. Explain what happened. Go on Instagram Live, say something. Because people are going to speculate. Come on, isn't, <laughs> you know they're going to speculate. I'm, I'm seeing rumors that they, that, uh, Yanni wants to sign Ian and, like, replace Caribou with Ian. I don't know. I don't know how I'd feel about that because I feel like Ian should be his own thing. Because the reason why I feel like this is marketing, bro, her debut album is yet to drop, right? By the way, it's about to be August. And they over here charging me 10 Gs because she's going to have this song. She's going to have this song. She's going to be popping by. Still no album, right? Whatever. I don't know if it's confirmed, but everybody's saying on the internet, Reddit, I'm seeing shit on Instagram. The name of the album is going to be called Where's Caribou? That alone should tell you that this might be marketing, honestly. Yeah, I guarantee you all of Concrete is gonna be on that tape. Now, can Caribou thrive without Concrete? Let's say, let's say it is real, right? And she goes completely independent or some shit. I think she'd be all right. I think she'd be all right. Maybe not super duper mainstream because they might put, they might not be able to put like the machine behind her and the advertising and the, you know, all that shit, the whole nine, right? I feel like she could do it. I feel like, you know, if she drops like an independent tape, like Where's Caribou, that would be hard. Like, you feel me? Like, imagine she drops that shit only on SoundCloud right now. Where's Caribou? That shit doing numbers, bro. Get all the people talking, drop a couple music videos and shit. That will be hard. Shout out to Yachty for putting her on, and I know she's appreciative of that. But maybe she just feels like she wants to blossom on her own. Like, yo, I don't need y'all no more. Y'all ain't doing shit for me. Fuck y'all. Fuck it. I ain't going. I ain't going. She still has photos of them on her Instagram, but like you have to keep scrolling on the post. Like it's not on the feed. I don't know, man. How y'all feel about this shit, bro? Because they dropped the ball on Caribou and she either she's getting sick and tired of this shit or it's all just to drop the, you know, album hype. Let me know in the comments, fam. I'll check you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh,